Hey you guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your storage on your iPhone as well as on the MacBook. So have one or both of these devices on hand so you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. So before we jump in how to upgrade your storage, I'm going to first go over the different upgrade options with you guys. So iCloud offers three different upgrades, the first being 50 gigabytes. This is essentially a dollar a month. The next upgrade is 200 gigabytes and this is $2.99 a month. And the last upgrade is two terabytes. This costs $10 a month. So the 50 gigabyte iCloud Plus plan offers a bunch of different things. So in addition to 50 more gigabytes of storage, you have iCloud Private Relay, you have Hide My Email, Custom Email Domain, HomeKit Secure Video Support for one camera, and you can share everything with up to five family members. For the second plan, in addition to 200 gigabytes of storage, you have the iCloud Private Relay as well. You also have the Hide My Email, Custom Email Domain, you have HomeKit Secure Video Support for up to five cameras, and you can share everything with up to five other family members. And lastly, for the two terabyte plan, in addition to the two terabytes of extra storage, you have that same iCloud Private Relay, Hide My Email, Custom Email Domain, HomeKit Secure Video Support for an unlimited amount of cameras, and share everything with up to five other family members. So among all of those things that I just listed off, you may not know what all of them mean, so I'm also gonna do a little dive into what each of these features are and how you can benefit from having them and using them. So the main reason people upgrade is for that extra storage. For individuals or couples who need a little bit of extra storage, that first plan of 50 gigabytes at 99 cents a month, it's really a no-brainer for a lot of people. It's quite a bit of storage and for almost no money per month. However, if maybe you shoot a lot of videos and photos, that space can be used up quite quickly, so that's when you kind of want to move on to that 200 gigabyte plan. When it comes to families who need quite a bit of iCloud space, that last two terabyte plan, it's a little bit more expensive, but if they're planning on making iCloud their primary storage platform, this is going to be the plan that sets them up for that and you're never going to have to worry about running out of storage. So I mentioned the iCloud private relay before and if you don't know what this is, I will explain it to you. Basically, to put it simply, it's going to keep your internet activity private. It's similar to a VPN but it exclusively focuses on Safari. One thing to keep in mind though is if you already do have a VPN, this private relay will be disabled because the two aren't compatible. If you want to be using the Apple VPN or the private relay, then you'll want to disable your other VPN as well. Next is the hide my email feature. So in the past, if you didn't want um, your email address to be exposed or used, you'd have to actually use a free temporary email service such as Gorilla Email. But if you want to skip all of those extra steps, then Apple has included this hide my email right into the phone so that you can sign in with Apple and not your actual email address. You can also generate instant temporary addresses in any email field using the Safari browser. Either one that you use, they will be effective until you cancel them. Next is the custom email domain. This is basically the exact same thing as Google Workspace in that you can reroute all of your personal domain emails through iCloud. So if you already use Google Workspace and you know how this application works, then you're going to be very familiar with this. Next is the HomeKit Secure Video Support. So this saves up to 10 days of event footage from compatible security cameras to iCloud. And these videos also don't count towards your iCloud storage. You can also access these videos on almost any Apple device other than the Apple Watch. Another perk of this feature is person, pet, and vehicle detection, which lets you know which motion notifications you should actually care about. Okay, on to share with other family members. If you live with somebody else who has an Apple device, or maybe every single person in your family has an Apple device, this share with other family members literally just lets you share your iCloud Plus with anybody else who has their own device. It is important to note that each member will need their own Apple ID. Okay, now that we've gone over all of those features and you know what they mean, um, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your storage. So I'll show you how to do this first on your iPhone um, and then we'll jump over to the MacBook and I'll show you how to do that there. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, you can also support the channel through super stickers. 
Super stickers basically just help fund the channel and it helps us continue to create content for you guys. Thanks, and let's get back to the video. The first thing you're going to want to do is launch your settings. And we're going to go into the Apple ID at the top. And then we're going to go into our iCloud. So as you can see, my iCloud storage is getting pretty full. This is where iCloud Plus is going to come in handy for me as I have like this much storage left. So we're going to go into manage account storage and we're going to click on the upgrade for $129 a month. And then this is going to bring us to the page where we select our plan. So we just went through each plan. I can either do that 50 gigabytes a month. It looks like they may have raised the price um, for the 50 gigabytes. However, it still is pretty affordable and they've actually added some more plans. In addition to that two terabyte plan, there's also a six terabyte plan and a 12 terabyte plan. These are for more advanced users and people that are creating art for photographers and content creators, etc. So if I wanted to upgrade, I'm just simply going to select the plan and then I'm going to select upgrade to iCloud Plus at the bottom here. And it's just going to need confirmation from me. So um, it might ask you for your face ID or a passcode or even a password. And once you enter that, your payment's going to go through and you will have iCloud Plus, as well as all of the features I talked about and that extra storage. Amazing. Now let's jump over to the MacBook. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the same thing. Okay, so now we're gonna upgrade our storage on our MacBook. To do this, you're gonna go up to the top left corner and you're gonna select the Apple icon and it's gonna bring this drop down menu where we'll click on system settings. Once we're here, we're gonna go up to our Apple ID at the top and then we're gonna go back down to our iCloud. There's a couple different ways that I can upgrade. I can either click on manage to the right of account storage, or I can click on upgrade to iCloud plus at the bottom here. Either way, it's gonna bring me to the exact same page. Once I click this, it's gonna bring up all of the plans. Um, we have the 50 gigabyte, 200 gigabyte, two terabyte, six terabyte, 12 terabyte, and just choose whichever one that suits you and your budget. Once you selected your preferred plan, you're just simply going to click upgrade to iCloud plus on your MacBook. It's going to ask for your email or phone number, um, as well as the password that follows that. And then you'll just simply click buy on the bottom, right? And then your iCloud storage is going to be updated. Um, as I said before, you'll have that extra space, um, as well as all of those features that I talked about. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found this information helpful. Maybe you can use it or pass it on to somebody else who needs it. Thanks again, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.